It was, uh, we had a very busy Saturday and neither one of us were real pumped up on going to church. We love church, but we just kind of wanted a day off. But uh, we decided to go because I said, I told Race, I said, you may miss the opportunity to see or do something spectacular. So we decided to go and we were in the K zone and a young man walked in and he was a little droopy, you know, didn't look too happy about things. And so I walked up and introduced myself and sat down with him and told me his name. He told me a little bit about himself. And what he told me was, I was a little surprised because he told me that uh, his dad really didn't like church too much. Uh, some mockery going on for him wanting to go to church. We started talking more and I said, oh, are you in a baseball team? He said, no, I'm not. So then I called Race over and uh, we started talking about baseball. He said he wants to be on a team, but he didn't have a mitt. He said he wouldn't be able to catch very well either. So I asked his mom if we could go buy a baseball mitt for, for him. And she, she looked at me, she said he would love that. We went out after church to like get him a baseball mitt. So we went to um, Dick's Sporting Goods and got him a baseball mitt. So the next Sunday rolls around and 8.30 rolled around and he wasn't there yet. Got a little nervous, but he came right in right before, you know, the, the countdown. And again, just didn't, wasn't, didn't look enthusiastic about much. So we have the mitt and now that, or now that we have the mitt, I, I handed it to him and I said every kid needs a baseball mitt. And we opened it up and he just looked at it like, wow, I can't believe this is actually happening. So we had to show him how to put it on his hand and things like that. And, and it, was, it was really a life lesson for us too because we take baseball for granted. When the service was over, we started throwing the baseball. Yes, a hard baseball in the K zone. So Ryan, Talbot, everything was okay. So then his mom came in and he yelled, hey mom, check this out, watch me catch this ball. He was so excited. And we got to share lots of love with him, the gospel, uh, the love of Jesus. And granted, he got a baseball mitt, he got a new ball out of it as well. But the biggest thing that happened, the spectacular thing that we would have missed was him getting saved. And that right there is the best home run you can ever hit.